What's going on my dudes? One step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to Quan Chi in Mortal Kombat 1. Giving you some tips and tricks on how to play Quan Chi, some best strategies you need to be using, and of course some fun and easy combos to get you started today. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more fighting game content and let's get right into this guide. As we do so, go ahead and pause your screen right here because this is gonna be the universal language for inputs that we use so that everybody who's watching can understand what we're saying. Quan Chi is a ton of fun and such a blast of a character. He's got so many tools for you to use. He's not your typical, you know, super aggressive character. I mean, he can be sure. He's got some fun combos. There's no doubt about that. But Quan Chi has a lot of tools to really keep your opponent away from you. He's kind of like Shang Tsung in the sense that he's got a lot of good tools to fight if he needs to up close but he's got a lot of great tools to keep your opponent away and kind of just zone them out so i'm just gonna say it quan chi's a really good zoner so if you like zoning your opponent and of course controlling the space between you and your opponent you're gonna love quan chi let's go ahead and go over your best and most optimal options when it comes to specials normals overheads lows and so on i have found your best overheads to be your one three combo that is a good overhead pop up and you can actually pop up into air combos or you can just continue the combo on the ground now, Quan Chi has a move kind of like Reptile, where you have your back two move, and that's an overhead, but if you hold it, it's an overhead pop-up. And you might be asking yourself, yo, one step, when can I actually hold it for that long? Well, the best time I've found is actually when your opponent is frozen using Sub-Zero, Frost, or Scorpion as a cameo. Kind of like this. It is an overhead option, and it's a pop-up if you hold it for combo extension. It's a great choice for one of your overheads for sure. Not only that, but you have your 2-1-4 combo. You can finish that into 2-1-4-4. But I find it best to cancel that combo into specials, like your down back four, for example. And that might look like this. And that's a specific great option because that goes overhead low, so that is a great mix-up. And you can, of course, enhance that low special for more combo extension. So you get the overhead low mix-up, and then you get a combo off of it into the air, or whatever you want to do from there. Now, when it comes to lows, you have really one good option. We have our sweeps like back four, sure. Your back three options, one of your best options for a low, because that goes into a combo like your back three, four, two. Or you can cancel that into a cameo, or you can cancel that into specials. Either way, it's a great and fast low starting option for a lot of combo routes. Quan Chi has a really good mid option with your forward two, and you can finish that with forward two one. And as you see here, that move puts us at full screen, which is where Quan Chi wants to be. Quan Chi wants to be here to either trap your opponent, set up portals, or just simply zone our opponent out. Quan Chi as a character really enjoys that full screen space for a lot of reasons. Now let's go ahead and talk about your normals. Quan Chi's got a really good normal with your four. That is a full screen tracking poke. And if you're fast enough, that can cancel into cameos and specials for some combo extension. Your normal three also has got really good range on it. It's a pretty good anti-air and it helps extend combos. If you do one, three, and then you do three again, you see they go higher in the air, allowing us more time and more space to do air combos or whatever we want to do from there. So both three and four are really good normal options. Now, when it comes to wake up options for Quan Chi, you have your back forward four, and that is your teleport move. And if you enhance that, you do get armor. So that is what you want to do on wake up, because again, you get the armor. And here's how that might look. Other than that, you might want to wake up with your down back four instead. Now, if you enhance that, you do not gain armor on it, but it is a combo extender and it's a low, so it might catch your opponent off guard. I recommend sticking to your enhanced back forward four because that gains the armor. Now, when it comes to strategies with Quan Chi, again, he's more of a zoner set play kind of character. He is really good at controlling the space between you and your opponent in multiple ways, using those pokes to get him out of specials. A really big note about Quan Chi is his gameplay really revolves around his down back three portal here. And the reason why that's so important is because he's a zoner and we already know this. We got our back forward one. We can do that in the air. We are down back one. And that is an overhead option, which is great. So you can go low overhead. But that portal, our down back three, changes our projectiles. As you can see, we gain more hits with our back forward one. It changes the down back one as well to a volley of sorts. And those are all mid hitting two, which is great. Our enhanced back forward one doesn't really do a lot. It does great damage, but with the portal, it's actually a combo extender. So let's say we freeze our opponent, right? We can actually pull that portal out and then do the combo with the enhanced back forward one. 
So that's why it might be a good idea to use a cameo that allows you to get portals out there, to get your cages out there, stuff like that. They'll just enhance Quan Chi's zoning, his, his tools, all the stuff that he wants to do, especially Sub-Zero, because he gives you that option to make you projectile invulnerable. So if you want to see your stuff from they're trying to zone you out, well, now they can't. I recommend using cameos like that that allow you to put your opponent in one spot, allow you to get those portals out there, get your cages out there, because the cage actually immobilizes your opponent and kind of restricts their movement for a short duration. And those can be hard to get out there during a very fast paced match. Because again, every other character in the game on the whole roster just wants to be in your face. And Quan Chi's like, nah, nah, stay away from me. So when every character's trying to get in there, you want to get him out of there. When it comes to air combos, Quan Chi has three main air combo routes. We have our one, two, two, our two, one, and our two, four. The two, one will actually bounce your opponent back up on the ground. One, two, two, and then the two, four, slam them back down and allowing you not to combo anymore. So I recommend doing your air specials like your teleport in the air after your one, two, or you can do two, one and drop down and continue the combo from there. So if we do our one, three combo, that allows us to jump in the air and do a combo. And if we do our one, two, two in the air, I'll show you how it looks. See, we are kind of able to slam our opponent away from us. And that can be good for creating full screen pressure here and giving us that space that we want. But you can also do your back forward four in the air and you can do that after your one, two combo in the air. So you can do one, three, jump up, one, two, back forward four. And that's a lot better of an ender and does more damage. If you want while you're in the air, you can just do two, one, bouncing your opponent back up, giving you the option to continue a combo from there like this. So whatever you want to do in the moment, like whatever's fitting your certain situation at that point in time. The biggest gimmick Quan Chi has is he's got that portal that again enhances your projectiles. Not that you have to play around that, it's just something to keep in mind because it's really going to enhance your gameplay once you learn to master it, especially in combos like this. That combo right there would not be possible if we didn't have that portal out there when we did our enhanced back forward one projectile continuing the combo because the portal was out keep on you have your back down forward two option that is the cage that again kind of restricts your opponent's movement and it might be a good option if you have your opponent frozen and you want to get some more portals out there just do it again that can be a little bit hard to really land in a fast-paced match so it's best to use cameos to help you get that down now a couple major notes regarding quan chi's moveset his down back four this tentacle that's a great low move special and i like it but the problem is enhanced it normally would cost one bar but it costs Quan Chi two bars to get that you know extra combo extension there and sometimes it feels like it's not worth it but it's really your best special you know enhancement for a combo extension unless you have your portal out there you can do your back forward one enhance and that's one bar and that can be good but again you gotta you have to have the portal out there and the problem with the portal being out there though it's great you have to be super close to the portal for it to actually affect you like we're gonna set it out and we're gonna walk away probably like what two feet here and now we're like we're not being affected by the portal no more even though we were super close you can hold the x and a direction to make it move with you if you want Want, but that can be really hard to get down again especially in a fast-paced match also if you enhance your down back three that's great but look how fast it goes away that is super fast the only benefit about doing that is that does push your opponent away from you so you can do the normal portal to enhance your projectile game sure you can enhance the portal to get your opponent off you and that can be useful in certain situations but is it worth it kind of depends and keep in mind with your portal out there your back forward one enhanced changes but so does your down back one enhanced as well that first goal now is an overhead and it does track your opponent so that's kind of cool as well Quan Chi has some awesome tools amazing moves great normals fun specials but he can be a bit hard to really get his gameplay set down it takes a bit of practice but if you're willing to take that time and patience you're gonna love him be ready to control that space between you and your opponent with projectiles with your mids pull the portals out there you want to trap your opponent if you can and then yeah if your opponent happens to get in your face you got good combos to get it back out of there it's not your typical in your face aggressor but man is he so much fun speaking of of combos let's go ahead and get into some fun and easy ones that you can learn today
Guys, let me know down below. What do you think of Quan Chi in Mortal Kombat 1? Do you like him? Do you hate him? Are you going to main him? Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe here for more fighting game content. Take it one step at a time.